Ottawa Glendorf back in the state final for a second straight year, this time in Division II, taking on the defending state champs Archbishop Alter. First quarter, Kylie White hits an open Katie Hempflein and the Lady Titans are on the board first. On the other end, Braxton Miller answers. Yes, there's a Braxton Miller in Columbus again and the Knights Junior was a showstopper just like the former Buckeye. Later in the first, Hempfling spins out of the double team, flips it in. Titans trail 14-8 after one. Second quarter, Kylie White to the hoop, the basket and the foul to get OG within five. But Alter used good outside shooting to build a lead. Kara Stevenson gives the Knights a 21-12 advantage. Ottawa Glendorf has faced adversity before. Hempfling little wraparound pass to White, that's up and good. More good passing from the unselfish Lady Titans, Danny Ellerbrock to Lexi Schrader for the easy two. And later off the steal, White draws contact and scores the bucket. Coach Yent said he wasn't sure Kylie would be able to play, dealing with injuries suffered in the semis, but White making an impact in the first half. Here she is dishing the Hempfling for the lay-in, and then off the dribble, Kylie spins and uses the window to score two more, 11 points for White. Alter still in front by seven in the final seconds of the first half. Hempfling swipes it and flips it in at the buzzer. 27-12, Alter at the break. How about a little first half analysis from the Blue Crew? I think this game's a really hard fought game. I think the girls need to play harder, get their shots knocked down. Kylie White needs to take over in the post, and I think uh, Katie Hempley needs to drive a lot more to the post. It's a great game so far. Danny Ellerbrock is playing great on the outside. Katie Hempley is driving excellent on the inside. And Kylie White, she is one heck of a post player, and I think in the end it's going to be a close game, but we're going to pull out with the W today. Look out, Andy. They might be coming for our jobs. Third quarter, Alter came out fast. Easy two for Miller. It's part of a 7-0 Knights run, but back come the Titans. Erin Kaufman drains the team's first three, and the freshman was just getting started. On the break, she lays it in. Next time down the floor, Kaufman with the hot hand. Another three, cutting the deficit to eight. Erin finishes with a team-high 12 points, all coming in the second half. We know OG is capable of runs. They put together a 14-0 run in the fourth quarter of the state semis. Schrader's lay-in makes it 40-34 alter. But then Katie Hempling suffers an injury going for a loose ball. It's a broken finger for the sophomore, so her day is done. Ten points in the game, and she's cheering from the bench. But with Hempling out, the Knights go on an 18-1 run. Kylie White also fouls out at the 7-18 mark in the fourth quarter. And Braxton Miller scores 33 on 13 of 18 shooting, including three of four from behind the arc. OG fighting until the end. Senior Danny Ellerbrock with two of her six points. But too much from Alter down the stretch. The Knights win 74-48 to claim their second straight state title. And the Titans finish as the state runners-up for the second year in a row. I don't think the score was indicative of the game the girls played. Um, not take anything away from Alter. That was, that was a great game by them. I think they shot almost 60%. But I thought our girls did a heck of a, or had a heck of an effort, left it all on the court. Very proud of the accomplishments that this team has had this year. The season was kind of a roller coaster. We had our ups and downs. We got good games, we had bad games, but I would not trade any of the moments for anything. It's been like the greatest ride ever. Just being with these girls, my teammates, my family, like I love these girls and I don't think that I would want this season to have gone any other way. Well, I mean a win would have been nice. But. <laughs> Honestly, as a freshman, I thought we were going to be good because we had a lot of talent, but I never really expected we were going to make it this far. And I'm just so happy with all of these girls. I mean, I've made so many friends and we've become a family and it's just amazing because our community is so close and all of these fans and coming to state two years in a row, who would have thought? So it's amazing. You know, when, when she came in as a freshman, we talked about hanging banners. Uh, obviously, we would have liked to hang the first place banner, but to work that hard and, and to come back to back in two di different divisions, I mean, truly a testament to the program and, and the effort that she's led in the last four years. And, and I think the younger girls have bought into.